video, I'm going to show you how to provision and manage FDB managed open source in topology cluster using Elasticsearch custom resource definition. So in Elasticsearch CRD, you can have a spec dot topology field, which provides a way to configure different types of nodes for Elasticsearch cluster. This field enables you to specify how many nodes you want to act as master data and on this node. You can also specify how much storage and resources to allocate for each type of node independently. So in the YML, you can see that like any other Kubernetes object, it has an API version. In this case, it is qpb.com slash v1 alpha 2, kind of elastic search, the metadata section, uh, we have named our cluster to be OS cluster. We are going to deploy it in name demo namespace. The spec section, uh, we are setting enable SSL to true. If you want to uh, set uh, enable TLS at your HTTP layer, we recommend you to using uh, true in this field. Uh, the version is open source 1.2.2, which we are going to be deploying. The storage type, we have set it to be durable. You can also set it to ephemeral. In the topology section, uh, we have specified uh, we have specified for the master node one replica. Uh, it will specify the number of nodes that act as uh, master nodes. It defaults to one anyway. Uh, you can set the resources, uh, which is an optional field. It specifies how much computational resources to request or to limit for each of the master nodes here. I have set the CPU limit to be 500 m and the memory to be 1 gigs. Uh, in the storage section, I have set the storage class name, uh, in this case, which is standard. I have requested for uh, one mix of resources for each of uh, the master data and in this node. Okay, so let's go to our workstation and apply this YML. So before applying our YML, let's see your Kubernetes client version is uh, 1.22.4 and our Kubernetes server version is 1.22.1. And, and you can see I have already installed QDB and the QDB ports are running here. Uh, you can visit QDB.com to install QDB using Helm chart. So let's deploy the YML that we have just shown. As you can see, we have applied our YML. Uh, it has created some services. They are the service which is named after the uh, resource itself, which is OS cluster. It will act as a governing service. Let's get some secrets as well. As you can see, there are some auth secrets for this auth secret OS cluster admin tip. This will provide the administration credentials, uh, which will help us to log into uh, open source cluster. There are some other authentication credentials for different open source built in users. There is one Kibana server created, snapshot, snapshot restore created, Kibana created, etc. And we also have some uh, TLS secrets, which contains some certificates for secure communication. As you have enabled TLS. Okay, so let's wait some moment. So that this provisioning gets to ready status. Okay, so it's ready now. Now we're going to deploy open source dashboard, which is also key to be managed. Now we have to deploy it in the same namespace where our open source cluster is deployed, which is demo namespace. We're also recommending to set enable SSL to true so that script communication at HTTP layer is established. In the database reference section, we just have to refer the 
uh, cluster name in our case which is OS cluster so let's apply this one Let's wait for a while until it gets ready. You can see your dashboard pod is running here. Let's create a uh, dashboard governing service. So dashboard is ready. So we are going to port forward the dashboard governing service to our local host. This default port 5601. Okay. Now we are going to go to our browser. With the default port 5601, that we can just port forward it for one local host. You can see this warning will be shown as. We are using self sign certificates, which is not kindly trusted by your browser. We are going to post it anyway. Okay, so it will ask us for a username and password to sign in. So we are going to get it. As you have said, the OS cluster admin credit, which contains the administration credentials. So we are going to uh, get the username and the password from this credential secret or the auth secret. And the, part, the username is admin. To so copy it, paste it here, and we are also going to copy the password and we will paste it here. So it. So we have logged into OpenSource dashboards, as you can see. Now we're going to go to Dev Tools, and we're going to make a simple Dev uh, Get command. Okay, so you can see a cluster name is OS cluster, and the OpenSource version is 1.2.2. So we have successfully deployed our OpenSource cluster. Let me make a Get Nodes command. So this query will let us see uh, nodes and their respective rows. So from here you can see that we have total four nodes and all four of them were successful. So let's get back to our YML a little. So as you can see, we have deployed one master node, two data nodes, and one uh, ingest node. So let's check it out from here. In the node section or we have one node OS cluster data zero so its role is data role as you can see it have this node okay we have another node OS cluster master zero we have the role we have set we have been set the role of master we have another uh, node OS cluster ingest zero with ingest roles and we have uh, one last node, OS cluster data one, which have this data roles as well. So we have all of these four nodes with its respective two data nodes and one master and one in this nodes. So our topology cluster has been deployed successfully. Thank you.